In this video, I'm going to show you some soft tissue techniques for the adductor muscle group. So the adductors, starting with the smallest, we've got pectineus, and then we've got adductor brevis, then adductor longus, magnus, and then finally we have the long one, which is called gracilis. Gracilis will come down to the pes anserinus, which means the goose foot. Magnus has a quite a large insertion. It's got an insertion point onto the adductor tubercle, which is onto the distal part of the femur. I do have a knee here. And so the adductor tubercle would just be here on this area of the femur. And then also there's a ridge at the back called the linear aspera. And then most of the adductors will attach to that. And a lot of them will come from the, the ramus of pubis. Now, the gracilis is known as the long adductor. And the other four adductors are known as the short adductors, okay, because they do not cross the knee. So that means even though an adductor longus is called longus, it's still classified as a short adductor. So the first four will work on the hip, so they are adductors and internal rotators, whereas gracilis will also work on the knee because it will medially rotate the tibia in relation to the femur and also will assist the hamstrings in flexing the knee. This is a, a nice way of treating the adductors compared to maybe the, the standard way where the patient is sitting with the leg to one side and you can treat because what this does, it allows me to, to have access to it. Just be careful, obviously, where the shorts are located yeah, because it's a, it's a private area. There. So what we're going to do is the patient's going to bend the knee and straighten the knee and I'm going to work as the person is working through flexion and extension. So... And it works really well. So let me start. I've already put wax on the patient and a wax I use is from Songbird and it's just a fascial wax and it works really well. And what we're going to do first of all, I am going to start around the adductor tubercle area with my hand positioned like this with my thumb leading, my arm is straight. So it's like a gliding technique. And my patient is literally, when you're ready please Max, you are just going to slowly flex and you are going to extend as I glide down through those tissues. You okay? Mm -hmm. It's a sensitive area of the adductors, so try not to use too much pressure. If you use too much pressure, you'll also restrict the motion coming through that. Okay, so I'm going to go as far as I feel is appropriate. I'm going to change my hand position just to show you that we can use alternative position in here coming through. Knees and off. Nice and slow. So the patient is controlling the flexion and extension. Then my knuckle in, or my thumb, which allows me to go a little bit further from there. I can also, if I want to, with this hand, I can control the flexion and extension motion. So I can control it passively. So I can then glide through. You will get naturally the fibers of the vastus medialis here and if I go a little bit more posterior I will get the semi membranosis and also the semi tendinosis okay because naturally the adductors fill the space in between so I'm just going to glide through them and these techniques work really well if you don't like the position I'm showing you you can use fingers you can reinforce you might start off with this one when you're ready please off you go so you just glide in through. It does specify an area. You might be able to feel a bit more depending on your experience level. You okay with that pressure? Yeah. Coming through there. And that works quite well. If I come around, you can put some wax on the forearm and then you can just drop down from here, okay? But if I start with him a bit more in extension, so I just need to be out of his way, from there, when you're ready, off you go. So he is going to flex, and I can glide through there. Okay, the surface area is wider, so potentially you could use a little bit more pressure. You can also come in this way as well, when you're ready, and you can glide through there. Okay, so you can just work all the way through. I don't tend to work too much around the pes anserinus, because one, there's a bursa, and it's a conjoined tendon with a sartorius and a semitendinosis. So it tends to be a little bit irritated around here if you do too much work. So I tend to come off the tendon components and work mainly into the muscle attachments here. 
So what we've done, we've done some soft tissue work, yeah, focusing on the adductor muscles of the hip joint. I hope you've enjoyed the video.